everybody. Keith Morehouse live from Pensacola, Florida at the Pensacola Bay Center. Yeah, we're talking Sunbelt Conference hoops. And today it was the Women's Day. Marshall's women coming off that early round win over Coastal Carolina on Wednesday, taking on top-seeded James Madison, a team the herd beat just six days ago. So it was a number eight versus a number one seed. Here's a recap. Marshall, the only team left in the Sun Belt Tournament that has beaten JMU this year, but the Dukes start out smoking. Jamie Hazel from the left wing is good. And the herd had to work for everything on this day. Sydney Scott with a tough left-handed runner from Marshall, but they are playing catch up all afternoon. Rashayla Scott gets some space, knocks down the three. Still, the herd trailed the Dukes 37-24 at halftime. Second half, no let up for the Dukes. Susha Kozlova inside for two. Then Jamie Hazel in the lane with the runner, and the route is on. Rochela Scott for two of her 12 points. Hurt has been a comeback kids all season long, but not this time. JMU eliminates Marshall, 62-43. That's by far the worst loss we've had in conference play, and I, I don't know the stats on that. I just know they're all, many of them are one or two possession games, and many of them, we, we had stretches where it wasn't perfect out there, and, and they would level off, and they would go on a little spurt, and then you'd be right back in there. And, and today, we just couldn't mount that. And like you said, it's not the way we wanted to end it. It's going to hurt all off season, but uh, hopefully that motivates people coming back, myself included, and I'm you know, really hoping to be in a better position next year. Now, as for the men, they're still working out at the University of West Florida, which is not far from here, and there is a Marshall tie there. Jeff Burkhammer, former Marshall assistant coach under Greg White from 1998 to 2002, coaches there. So the herd used the gym and got some final run-throughs in. Tavion Kenzie and Andrew Taylor and Coach D'Antoni all going through uh, what they now know to be their next opponent in Texas State. Texas State with a shocking upset last night over ODU. We were talking about it earlier, me and some of the coaches, and uh, I was like, you know, I don't, I think Texas State can can, can win that game, and um, I didn't really, nobody, I don't think anybody expected them to win by that much, but uh, they're a great team. Both of those teams are great teams. Uh, obviously, ODU beating us in our last game, we knew that they were a great team, so we prepared for that, and we also prepared for Texas State because when we went down there, we had a battle with them.